Hi guys, so I wanted to make a really quick video uh, on how to do a seamlessly looping video that you could use uh, for animation or for projection purposes. Um, and I'm going to be using Apple Motion, but the same technique applies in Adobe Premiere or uh, Adobe uh, After Effects. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to make this project 20 seconds long and I'm going to be very aware of the frame rate here at 30 frames per second because I'll, I will need to count frames in order to get this looping uh, element to work pretty well. Uh, it's 1080p, so 1920 by 1080. I'm going to go ahead and import my uh, footage that I have. I have this footage of uh, water rippling on the, uh, the lake here and uh, as you can kind of see it goes to the end and this is the 20 second mark and it kind of jumps back you can see that jump um, so what we're going to do is uh, fix that so first off I'm going to trim this I'm going to hold my shift key down and that will allow me to snap to that end point without going past it and I'm going to select my ripple video here and I'm going to hit the O button on uh, motion O means out and that uh, crops that out point right there um, and now we have a piece of video uh, that we could use. Now there are two ways that you could make something that loops seamlessly. Uh, one way is just to do something called ping pong and I'm going to show you that. If I go halfway, because this is 20 seconds, halfway would be 10 seconds exactly and you'll notice that my um, time code is being shown here so I know exactly when I'm at 10 seconds. So if I wanted to ping pong this what would happen is it would go forward and at this point it would reverse and then at this point it would go forward again and it would look like it's um, perfectly um, looping. The problem is for things that have you know chaos or they go in one direction the arrow of time like this water that won't work but I just wanted to show you how that would work even if it's not for this one but for something else. Um, so what we need to do is select our ripple uh, we're going to crop it at this point. So again, O for out point. We're going to go to our timing panel in our uh, properties inspector here. And end condition will be ping pong. Uh, and then we're going to extend that. And I'm just dialing, clicking, and, and moving this number up until it ends. And so this is what this looks like. At that point, it goes backwards. You can kind of see. And at this point, it'll feel like it goes backwards again and it's a perfect loop but obviously this doesn't work because what this is is going in the direction of time so I'm gonna undo some of the things that I've done command Z until I'm back to uh, the full ripple video going all the way past uh, this area the second thing we could do is duplicate this ripple video and fade the end so that the end and the beginning look the same and that's what we're gonna do now so I'm going to duplicate this video, uh, control click on it and select duplicate. Now I've got two videos and on this video I'm going to just add this behavior basic motion fade in fade out. That makes it really easy for me. Uh, what that does is it makes, um, you can see it on the HUD here, it creates a 20 second or 20 frame fade in and a 20 frame fade out. We don't really care about the fading out, I'm going to close that HUD. Uh, we care about the fading in and this is why. So I'm going to actually give it a full 30 frames which we know is a second because 30 frames per second and uh, the fade out time it doesn't matter and we're going to select this top video and you can see it right here in my timeline and I'm going to scooch it until it is exactly 30 frames away from the end. So what I could do is move my playhead to the 19 because I know 1900 uh, is perfectly 30 frames from the end because we have a 20, uh, we have 30 frames per second. Then I'm going to click move this and when I get close I'm going to hold the shift key down so that it snaps. You can see it snaps with the shift key held down right on that uh, target. And now if I uh, play it you'll see there's still a bump and the reason why is because this fades in but it fades into this area remember this is on top this is what we're seeing but it's a second in so in order for this to really work we need to move the front in point to exactly one second one second in so I've done that you can kind of see and at this point what we have is a seamless fade you'll see there is no 
um, there's no bump or no no static. I'll just have to do that again. Now, if you need to adjust that fade time to make it uh, more uh, to less obvious that it faded, depending on your video, you can do that and then adjust the, the locations of these. But the idea is uh, whatever you fade into at this point, number, you have to actually start that much in on the other side. Uh, when I share this out, it will be a perfectly uh, working uh, looping movie uh, that that is uh, useful for, again, uh, lots of purposes. Okay, hope this helped.